Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Moto X Play and in this video, we'll be doing the camera review and this Moto X Play has a new camera sensor. The rear facing camera is actually a 21 megapixel shooter with dual tone LED flash, whereas the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter. And I've shot a lot of pictures with this Moto X Play and I'll show you all of them later on. But before that, let me quickly show you the camera interface. And uh, we still have that uh, gesture that we find on Motorola devices. If you do this double twist, the camera opens as you can see. Uh, so that works. Uh, but let me just unlock the device normally and uh, traditionally you can just hit this to invoke the camera and it's not the fastest uh, in opening the camera but it is fairly quick in my opinion and let me bring some objects here and the camera interface if you notice is very basic you just get uh, this and you just tap and you take the pictures uh, by default i've enabled this uh, what do you say uh, controlling the exposure by default it will be like this so you just tap anywhere and it takes the picture but for better control i would say you enable this option now so you can tap anywhere or just move around to adjust the exposure and you also have this ring and as you can see you can adjust the exposure via this in terms of uh, controls again and the interface it's very basic as you can see we have the auto hdr we can toggle on the flash to auto on or off uh, we also have the uh, uh, low light mode but again uh, the performance was very average even in the low light mode in terms of video as you can see it can record in full hd that's 1080p but in slow motion it records only at 540p which is uh, actually surprising and uh, in, uh, by default it shoots in 16 by 9 ratio uh, that means it shoots at 16.1 megapixel if you want to go to that full 21 megapixel it shoots in 4 by 3 ratio so very basic options i would say and uh, it's very easy for a newcomer but if you're sort of a pro i would say uh, you would uh, feel that the camera software is pretty lacking in terms of shutter lag you don't have that much shutter lag so the moment you click it takes the pictures now let me show you the sample shots that i've taken with this moto x play these pictures were shot with the rear facing camera of the Moto X Play in outdoor conditions and as you can see in outdoor conditions the pictures come out to be really good. Also in terms of color reproduction the color reproduction is really good and I feel uh, the pictures are also really sharp. So the new 21 megapixel sensor of the Moto X does produce really good pictures in outdoor conditions. And these are some pictures that I shot while moving in the car and they also came out to be really good. Now some sample shots shot with the front facing camera of the Moto X Play in outdoor conditions. And here also I feel the pictures are really good. Video is being recorded with the front facing camera of this Moto X Play. And I'll just move around to give you an idea how it handles abrupt exposure. As you can see we are recording this outdoors. I'll also record a video in indoor conditions to give you an idea. So this should give you an idea about the video recording with the front facing camera of the Moto X Play. Recording this video with the Moto X Play at the highest setting possible and the audio that you are hearing is also via the internal microphone. And it's a clear sky today. Uh, let me just slowly pan around. Let's also move closer to an object to see how it as auto focusing as you can see it's doing a good job in terms of auto focusing so it does auto focusing in the video department now let me walk back to give you an idea about the video stabilization and i'm walking normally so this should give you an idea about the video recording with the moto x play in outdoor conditions. These were shot in semi-indoor conditions with the Moto X Place rear facing camera and here I would say the camera performance was above average considering the fact that many smartphones struggle in these situations but again I did notice that if the lighting is pretty low you have to be really careful otherwise the image can come out to be shaky. Here are some more samples with the flash switched on. Now these were shot in completely artificial lighting in my office and for the most part I would say the pictures come out to be okay but you have to be really careful because it does not have optical image stabilization. The camera is prone to shake so if you have stable hands you can certainly take some good pictures even in artificial lighting but you have to be really careful. 
These were shot with the front facing camera in artificial lighting conditions and I would say the pictures are just okay. There is quite a bit of noise and you have to be careful because in indoor conditions it's prone to shakes. The video again with the front facing camera of the Moto X Play but this is in completely artificial lighting in my office as you can see and I have just one tube light switched on. So this should give you an idea how will be the video recording with the front facing camera of the Moto X Play in indoor lighting conditions. So what do I feel about the camera performance of this Moto X Play? As you've seen from the sample shots, the camera performance is certainly a lot improved compared to earlier Moto X devices. And the 21 megapixel camera is sharp and in, in outdoor conditions, it takes very good pictures, I have to say. But again, when we move to artificial lighting and indoor lighting conditions, it does tend to struggle up a little bit. Yes, you can certainly take some good pictures, but you have to be really careful because uh, the photos come out to be a little bit but shaky in artificial lighting conditions. Also, when we move to the front facing camera, again, the front facing camera does perform very well in outdoor conditions. But again, if we move to indoor lighting conditions, there is certainly a little bit of noise in the picture. So overall, I would say the camera is certainly an improvement over earlier Moto devices. But again, if we start to compare it with the flagship devices like the LG G4 or the Samsung Galaxy S6, then you would be disappointed. But certainly considering the price point of this Moto X Play, the camera overall is a decent camera. I've also posted other videos on this Moto X Play. So make sure you check them out. And again, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.